Every fall, Everybody Gardens editor Doug Oster plants more bulbs. He's been doing it for so many years that he has hundreds of them in his yard. The results come spring are tremendous with banks of daffodils, tulips, and other early bloomers. Doug is like the Pied Piper, if you will, of <laughs> bulbs because he wants us to plant them too in our yards. So he's here to show us how to do it and to share a new bulb that he found this year. Yeah, when uh, I started out doing this 30 years ago, everybody planted bulbs in the fall. It's not so much that way now. Uh, why, why it's do you not think instant. Got away it's, from it's, it? it's not instant gratification. Right. It's yeah. a lot of work, and then you got to wait till the spring. But when spring comes, it is amazing. And I just want to show you the easiest way to plant them. And I always bring this tool on. It's called a bulb auger. It's an inexpensive, easy way to mm -hmm. drill holes and put your bulbs in. Uh, bulbs go in about three times as deep as the actual bulb is. So when okay. they're little bulbs, not too deep. A bigger bulb like a daffodil, you know, six, eight inches down. This does the trick. So it's just the tip here you attach it to yeah, your Yeah, yeah, it's just a it's just basically a drill bit. Okay. And so it, it it will make bulb planting easy. So the thing about bulbs is they're not around that long, so we plant lots of different types. The first one I want to talk about is called snowdrops. They can so bloom nice. as early as January 15th. Wow. You know, they're the first thing that comes up. When they come up, I'm just running around the house saying, it's spring, it's spring. <laughs> but My it's wife's not like, No, even. it's not, it's not. <laughs> uh, everyone should grow snowdrops. Again, they're little itty bitty bulbs, easy to plant. And January 15th, February 15th, or March 15th, somewhere in there, depending on the winter. It's a nice uh, little surprise when it starts to get really cold. Next yeah. is snow crocus. They're okay. the first crocuses to come up, and they're always a surprise because it only takes about three days of a thaw with a little bit of sun on a, on a bank, and then you'll see your, the beautiful color. Uh, again, a snow crocus is only around for, you know, three, four weeks tops, but the color is just so amazing. Then we have our normal crocuses here, I, yeah. uh, which you've got to have crocuses. One little trick that I've learned is that you can just spray those bulbs with a repellent, like a Bob X or some of those other animal repellents that I bring in, mm -hmm. and then plant them, and that'll keep the chipmunks and the squirrels from, from going after okay, them. Okay, good to know. Uh, next are the, the toughest of all bulbs, the daffodils. They're tough? Deer won't eat them, rodents won't eat oh, them. Oh, I thought you meant they were tough to grow, because I was going to say, we have them all over our yard. No, okay, they're, <laughs> they're tough. They're, they're, they're resilient. Okay, got okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite variety is, this is one called Tahiti right here. It's a double, and uh, there's 13 different divisions of daffodils, so you can get all sorts of early, mid-season, late-season, you know, from almost when the crocuses bloom all the way through till right before the tulips bloom, and that, that's what's last year, tulips. And tulips, we're just planting those as annuals. If you have deer, yeah. forget tulips. Just don't even bother with that, them. That is uh, deer candy. <laughs> uh, I plant my tulips inside a fenced-in vegetable garden. And Aww. so just, to, I gotta have my tulips. Because they're and, beautiful flowers, and they really are. One of the fun things about gardening is discovering new bulbs. So, yes, you have to tell us about this new yeah, bulb. Yeah, last year, you know, it's been around forever, but it's, it's new to me, it's called Pushkenya. Pushkenya. And it has the most beautiful flowers, these, these white flowers with blue stripes on them. Here's a picture of it right I now. mean, you see that thing blooming right after the crocuses? They, the deer won't eat them. They form this beautiful colony after just a couple years. They're small bulbs, so they're easy to grow. That's one, though, you're probably going to have to really search for or, or order online. Okay. And I'm ordering a ton of them this year. Uh, because that, I, just, I just fell in love with it. And as I said, you know, just as discovering something new to you every year is wonderful. And then I'm all into garlic. You know how I'm into garlic. I okay? do know. And this is garlic planting time. Hand me down some of those ones that are spread Oh, the ones that you open. Yeah. Okay. All we do with garlic, we have to buy the right type of garlic, which is uh, not from the store. Okay. We're buying it from a nursery. We're not from buying it from the grocery store. And all we're doing is we just split them up. That little clove. When we plant it three inches down, six inches apart in good soil, by next summer will be this whole size bulb. Now, do you have to peel all of this off, or no, can no, you leave no, it kind no. of? No, 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 just kind of do it as, as it is. It'll be good, and that, that end part there will become the root. Okay. Uh, and then in the spring, we get the garlic greens, then we get the seed head that comes up that we remove, that we eat, and then we get the big bulbs that we can store. When we put this in the ground, do we, which side? Do, I know there's a, a trick to it. You put so it. So you see which side it, the pointed side goes up. Pointed side goes up, That's, okay. But you know what? It wouldn't matter. It really? will fi it'll find its way up. Okay, good to know. And then one real quick thing, bulb tone is your best fertilizer for bulbs. 
to put that in. Okay, and push, push Kenya. Push Kenya. Push Kenya. <laughs> Look that one up. Okay, thank you so thank much, you. Doug. So much fun. And if you want to hang out with Doug, and believe me, you do. This guy is pretty cool. <laughs> you want to get your tickets to travel to Italy with him. That's so exciting. So much fun. Can't wait. He'll be leading a garden tour that starts in Rome and ends in tell the me this, Amalfi Coast. So beautiful. <laughs> the trip is not until April, but you can get a discount on tickets if you buy before October 31st. Look for the details on Doug's blog. Thanks for joining Thank us this you. morning. We're thinking spring already. Yeah.